Hi, today we're going to show you how to sow seeds. Three different types of seeds. Some summer seeds, some root crop seeds, and some bean and sunflower seeds, which are quite big seeds, so they can be sown differently. Firstly, we'll show you how to sow seeds into a seed tray. Here I have a seed tray, and you can see the big hole that's got in it. It's really, really good drainage for your seedlings. You don't want them to stay constantly moist. Although, I find it's quite useful just to line it with a piece of newspaper to keep the moisture in. And also, it stops your soil from flying out the hole. Always use a proprietary seed mix. It has a little bit of fungicide in it, a little bit of starter fertilizer, and it ensures your seedlings have very good drainage. So in this instance, I'm going to plant three different types of seeds. And I've got my little board set up to keep my variety separate. So I've prepared this seed tray with my seed mix and I've divided it up into three sections so I can sow three different types of seed. In this instance I'm going to grow three different types of nigella. But you could be growing anything. You could be growing lettuces, tomatoes, spinach, silver beet. You could be growing geranium seedlings, anything you could grow in this type of tray. So this is my home saved seed. And as you can see the seed is very very fine. So with a little seed like this it's really important not to cover it over too deeply. So I'm just going to make three little trenches and sow my seed directly into these and then cover them up with only a little bit of soil on top and just space them about a finger size apart. Just cover it just with a little bit just so you can't see the seed and then you can press finely down. Always remember to name your seeds because it doesn't matter how good you think you are, six weeks from now you won't remember who is who. And I always put the date on the back. These are little jiffy pellets and all you have to do is pop them in some water for less than five minutes. And they go from that to that. And they've got a little convenient planting hole in the middle. So it's just a matter of popping your seed in there, squishing it together a bit to firm it up and you're done. So these seeds here, the butternut pumpkin, cucumber, courgette and tomato are all temperature sensitive um, plants. So we're going to start these off quite early and have them on our windowsill or somewhere nice and warm and bright light where they won't get cold. This is my cucumber prolific. Cucumbers are very prolific so really you only need to do two at a time. Otherwise you'll have more cucumbers than you know what to do with. Next up is courgette leader, which is another great eye can seed, and we're going to put one in each of those. Now you can save these packs of seed until next year, as long as you keep them closed in the foil packets and keep them out of the heat. Nice cool spot, and they'll last for a couple of years. Next we have the butternut pumpkin, which is the chef's choice eye can butternut pumpkin to poke him down a bit further because he's such a big seed. These are my ICANN flavoursome tomato seeds. You can see they're much smaller so I'm not going to put them quite so far down and I'm going to pop two into each little hole. Just put a little bit on top. Great. So here we have my first four types of vegetable seeds I've sown this year and I've chosen the ICAM brand because where you see this brand it's the top for taste, the top for disease resistance and vigour. They only produce a seed in the ICAM brand if it's superior to something that's already on the market. So with these seeds they'll take about five to seven days to germinate and then probably another couple of weeks until they're big enough to plant out and plant them out only if the temperature is correct. Another option is to pop seed mix straight into these little jiffy pots. These also you can plant straight out into the garden once your seedling's big enough. So you don't take the seedlings out of this, you just pop them straight into the ground. And with this one, you pop that straight into the ground also, and the little roots come out and the little packaging dissolves. I prefer to sow my seeds directly into seed trays or jiffy pots, primarily because they're safer that way. I can watch them every day to see whether they're too dry or too wet. It means that you can protect them from slugs, 
the birds, snails and of course pets. Some seeds you should sow directly into the ground and these include vegetables that have got a long root system, so what they call a root crop. If you sow this, like a parsnip seed, into a seed tray and then disturb it, you'll get a forked root and it's obviously not what you want with your parsnip or with your radish or with your carrot. So sow root crops directly into the ground ideally. These big seeds plus sunflower seeds can be sown directly into the ground. There's no need to start them in a seed tray or as we did before in the little peat pots, but do make sure that you protect them from birds as they germinate. Some seeds like beans and peas are best soaked in a cup of water for one to two, three hours, even overnight, and this speeds up germination no end. If you're unsure when to sow your seeds, check the back of the packet, and it's always got the zones here, and the spacing, and how much you should cover the seed, and how long you might be waiting, like 140 days for maturity for a parsnip. It's important when you're sowing your seed to sow fine seeds quite close to the top, just twice the width of the seed, very fine scattering of seed mix on top and on the bigger seeds like the pumpkins and courgettes and cucumber twice the width of the seed so you could be sowing them you know like a whole two centimeters or so deep 